Hi guys, today I just got a new gun um, by Nerf, uh, the uh, Barrel Break IX-2. It's only at Toys R Us though, it's it's $20, um, it's actually pretty small for its size. Um, hang on, let me get something here. Here's my clear fabric, I'm not in, um, and here's the... Uh, barrel break. Barrel breaks not even twice as long as the Maverick. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, barrel break. Um, it's end strike and strike. Um, it, it tells you how to use it right there, which you don't have to read. So I'll show you. Um, you just click this thing. Click this thing right here down and then the barrel comes out and then you cock and then you pull it down and then you store it comes with 10 of these uh, whistler darts and you just put them in right there you don't need any shells which is nice um, and you just put them in then just put it tuck it down and Yeah, works. It's pretty cool. Uh, I hope it's still filming. Yeah, it still is. Cause sometimes my shit, if I shoot the camera, it, it like stops. It stops filming. Um. So and it comes with one tactical rail right here. Um. Useful for scopes like the tactical scope, which matches the gun a lot. Here's what the tactical scope looks like on the barrel break IX2. That's what it looks like. Um, when you're cocked, I don't know if the camera will see this, but let me go behind you guys. Um, if it's cocked, um, okay, you see those two things in the back right there? When you cock, okay, look at them now. Okay, see those now? And then you cock it. It's they're now orange inside. It's hard to see in the camera. But it's like the recon of a raider or anything that when it shows it's cocked, it's orange. And then when you shoot, it goes away. And by the way, when you shoot, pull the trigger lightly for one, pull the trigger hard for another. Or you can just pull it all at once. Uh, and it comes with this, which holds eight darts. It comes with ten, so you're good. You just put it on like that. And then you have eight, ten darts to shoot at somebody. So I already shot two. So reloading is very easy. You just go like this. Here, let me adjust the camera for you. Okay, you just go like this. And then put one in, put the other in. I'm, I have them this way because I'm a lefty. If you're a righty, have the tips on the other side. So then you just shoot. That was both at once. So reloading is pretty fast for this gun. You can use it as a primary if you want to, but I'd use it as a secondary or a last stand gun. This will definitely be in our next zombie video. Okay, uh, I have four left. I'll shoot two more, and then I'll do the firing test. Well, I have three left, so. Okay, let me take this big thing off, and then pull this back. And I guess I'll show you guys the firing test now, so if you'll follow me. Uh, okay, so if you'll follow me with the barrel break. Um, you just go over here. And you, let put you guys on the table right there. Yep. Here, I'll lift you guys a bit. Lift you guys up. 
I gotta let go of the darts for a second. I know it's taking a little while. Just doing it a little. Okay, you guys are a little higher now. Alright. So, once, if it hits the wall, it's 33 feet. I'm gonna be shooting from the back wall over there. So, I will be cocking the gun. Okay, the gun. Alright, cock it. And it doesn't go back when you do that, so it's really easy to load. Put the other one in. Alright. So now, here goes the firing test. Three, two, one. Alright. Show you guys where that landed. Um. Okay, let me lower you now. Maybe lower. Turn it back down there now. Okay. Swaggy. Okay. First one landed right here, which is about 18, 20 feet. Yeah, I'd say 22 feet. And then the other one landed right here, which is about 27 feet. Sorry, that's just my puppy. Um. So, yeah, guys, thank you for watching. Hope you liked my barrel break review. Uh, thank you. Bye.